Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Star Power Baseball, The Rule Book. This is going to be episode 9 and the third part of the basic game. I'm your host, Dennis, coming from the Cincinnati Razorback Room. And um, let's get the business end of this taken care of real quick. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. The more subscriptions that we get, the more content that we can give you. Make your life, make our life better. Thank you very much for that. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this one. We're going to go in directly into the pitching key, uh, master pitching key. So let me get out of the way here, go back, make myself small, and get down into my little corner of the world right here. Bring up the master pitching key. Guys, when you get your new game, you get this these two pages of the rule book, page 19 and 20, on the front and back of a piece of cardstock. This is your quick reference to the pitching and the batting keys that you will use in Star Power Baseball. Today, on this video, we're going to go over the master pitching key. Take a look at a pitcher right here. Let's grab a pitcher. Let's get a little better one here. Let's find Pedro. Okay, we're going to use Pedro as an example. Well, Rube Markert's probably a better example. You can tell I don't do a whole lot of planning on this stuff. I just kind of wing it. Okay, this is going to give you some examples of what's going on. We're going to start with the first letter. We're just going to go over all of them. It may take a while. I don't care. Let's get it right. B, spin the batter. Pitcher spins a B. Put the pitcher in the pitching card holder. Spin it. And it lands on a B, 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 B. Spin the batter, take the result. It's that simple. Spin the batter, take the result. You can use the respins that you have. If you have any left, you can use them. But B means spin the batter, okay? Location right now of where ground balls and fly balls go, singles go, is not going to be important until we get into the advanced game. Right now, we're just going to call them fly balls and ground balls, etc. Make life real easy. Spin an F. That's right here, an F. An F is a fly ball. With nobody on base, it's an out. In the basic game, it's an out, okay? In the advanced game, we got to play a little bit harder. But in the basic game, that's going to be an out. G is going to be a ground ball right here. That's also going to be an out. In the basic game, we don't advance, man. We don't use strategy cards. We don't advance. Guy on first base spin a ground ball. It's a ground out. Guy stays at first. Move on. Makes the game real easy to play that way. Makes it very simple. Call a fielder choice. I don't care. Call it whatever you want. Nobody advances on outs in the basic game of Star Power Baseball. All right. H. We don't have an H. We have an H minus. On an H, it is, let's see if I can grab somebody with an H. Uh, and it doesn't matter, you know. If it's an H without a line over the top of it, an H means spin the batter. If the result is not a 1, 5, 7, 11, or 13, then you got to respin the batter. If it is one of those, the result stands. If it's not one of those, then you respin the batter. Basically, if it's not a hit, respin the batter. Walks aren't hits. Remember that. A walk is not a hit. Okay? Now you get to this one right here. A hit with a line over the top of it. Hit with a hat. That's called a hit minus. Hit minus means spin the batter. If the batter spins a 1, 5, 7, 11, or 13, then he must re-spin. This is a strong, strong, strong piece of the card. Super strong. Let's just go back and get Pedro Martinez once again. Look at his hit minus. It's really large. Okay? Very large. Lands there. He takes a hit away from a batter. That is huge. All right. On a K, right there, the batter's out on strikes. Strike three. Remember the rules that are respin. Can't respin that K either. Can't make the pitcher respin that. You're out. Sit down. Pedro's going to strike a lot of guys out. Now let's go back and grab Rube Markert again. K 
K minus, strikeout minus, K with a hat. Right there. That means spin the batter. If the batter spins a strikeout, spin the batter again. This is a mechanical respin built into the game, the pitching card. This means it's a mechanical respin, spin the batter. If he spins a 10, respin the batter. Remember, second result is final. Same with the H minus up here. The hit minus is a mechanical respin built into the game. Okay? Next is the W. Now, there's a lot of pitchers that have a W. Let's pull one up real quick here. Let me grab my baseball card thing here. You can tell I'm real, repaired, real prepared. Let's get the Hall of Fame. Let's go grab Nolan Ryan. Okay, you can see Nolan Ryan has a W on his card, right? Let's get rid of that. Has a W on his card. Spin the batter. If the result is a 9, a 13, or a 14 on the batter's card, the result's a walk. All other results are whatever they are. But the 9, the 13, and 14 will be a walk. All other results stand. Okay? In fact, I think it might even be a good idea to type that in. How about that? How about that? Hmm? How about that? And we'll just save that. That way we got it. All other results stand. So on a W, let's go get Nolan again. Go get me Nolan. On a W, he spins that big W. If the batter spins a 9, a 13, or a 14, the results will walk. All other results are what they are. Now let's go get that W minus look, and we'll go back and grab Pedro again. Let's go get Pedro again. W minus. Well, he's got a WH minus. Let's find somebody with just a W minus. Would that be Rube Markward? Uh, yeah, there's Christy Matheson. W minus. Spin the batter. If he spins a nine, respin the batter. It takes a walk away. Nine's a walk, by the way. We get to that when we get the batting key. Takes it away. Real strong right there, okay? Real strong. Okay, let's get to X right there. X. The batter is hit by the pitch and awarded first base. Spin on the injury table that's provided in the back of the book if you get into the advanced game. Otherwise, just take that as the result. Hits the batter, move on. Z is a wild pitch. If there's any runners on base, they advance a base. How about that? If you spin, and then you get to spin the batter. Um, with no runners on base, spin the batter. If he strikes out, it's a wild pitch and he gets first. Pretty cool, huh? How about any other game have that built into it? To where if you strike out, you still get to go to first base. Now, if there's runners on base and he strikes out, he doesn't get to go to first base because the runners have already advanced on his wild pitch. Okay, so anyway, we do it with no runners on base. We don't allow it to happen with runners on base. Ease of gameplay. All right, next, HR minus. HR minus. Spin the batter. If the batter spins a one, re spin the batter. Yes, takes away a home run. I have seen people grimace, and I mean just freak out, because they lose a home run on one of their big guys with men on base. Oh, it's so frustrating to have that happen. Okay, double H. Well, let's pull up somebody that's got one of those. I'll bet he's got one of those. Yes, he does. Robin Roberts has a double H. Right there, double H. You see that? Ooh, I better move him back over here a little bit. There you go. Let's move that down. Right, Robin Roberts has a double H right there. On the double H, spin the batter. If the result is a five or an 11, that turns into a one, a home run. Other results don't change. Okay? 
a five or an 11 now becomes a home run. So this takes a power hitter of old days facing a modern day pitcher and turns him into a home run hitter. Somebody like Sam Crawford, Tris Speaker, Ty Cobb, Paul Wehner, turns him into a power hitter against a guy that gives up a lot of bombs. So there's that one right there. All right. Next is HW. Now, none of the Hall of Famers, I don't think any of them have an HW on their card. But you spin the batter. If the result is not a safety, one, three, one, five, seven, nine, eleven, or thirteen, then you respin the batter. That's not a good thing to have on a pitcher. That's a bad thing to have on a pitcher. If the result is not a hit or a walk, then you get to respin the batter. This is a bad thing for a pitcher to have. Not good. <laughs> So if you have a pitcher with an HW, be careful and be leery of that. A lot of times that'll happen, though, on a good pitcher. If the pitcher has a lot more out than he is supposedly permitted, uh, a big strikeout pitcher that still has a high whip, then he'll have an HW also to compensate for that overabundance of strikeout. That's just the way that it works. Okay, HW. If the result's not a 1, 5, 7, 9, 11, or 13, respin the batter, second result's final. Now, let's look at some pitchers that give you some cool stuff here, okay? Let's not look at him. Let's look at Christy Mathewson, okay? Look at this. It says here, note, whenever there are two letters combined with a line over them, for example, uh, a W with a line, which is same block with a K with a line, or a 9 and 10, whatever. What we have here is a WH minus. On Christy Matheson, you have a WH minus. That means if the batter spins on a W minus, spin the batter, if he, res if he spins a 9, you must respin. H minus, if he spins a 1, 5, 7, 11, or 13, you respin. So this would add the 9 into that, and that would mean 1, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13 that you get to respin the batter because of that. Makes it very powerful. If it was a KW minus, then if you spun a 10 or a 9, you'd have to respin the batter. Okay? If it's an HW minus, same thing. Hit, walk, minus, walk, hit, minus, they're the same thing. So when you combine letters and cap them, I call it put a hat on it, put a line over the top, put a minus on it. Then that combines the two, making it very powerful. The WH minus, I wonder if I have a Martinez out here. There it is. Look at the size of that WH minus. It's huge. Let's get another one out that has a really big one too, just to show you. We'll get this guy right here. And this is one of the classic cards that everybody seems to like. Addy Joss. Look at that WH minus right there. He's got a WH minus, a W minus, K minus, home run minus, two home run minuses. A humongous G. This is a nasty card, guys. That's why this guy's in the Hall of Fame. You can see it. Okay? So there's your basic pitching key for the master pitching key. For the basic game and for the advanced game, we'll get into a little more about directionality and that type of stuff too, where, where the balls hit. But for right now, let's just suffice it to say that we're using those keys right there for the basic game. All right, let me get big again. We're going to end this one real good real quick. Guys, I'm Dennis, your master of ceremonies on episode, I believe that it is episode 9 episode nine, I think it is, of uh, Star Power Baseball, The Rule Book. And this episode is part three of the basic game. There's going to be one more part of the basic game, and that's when we go over the master batting key, and we'll do that next time on Star Power Baseball. Until then, if you need to contact me, get a hold of me at warhammerworld at hotmail.com. You can email me. Leave a comment in the comments section. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Again, Keep spinning those games because, guys, dice are nice, but the uh, spin is in. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Star Power Baseball.